Hey, what's up, Clarence? Hey, it's Terry here at 26 Golf. Now, I put this, this is going to be a drill, and this is a field drill, okay? And this is something that's pertaining straight to your, your lead wrist, okay, which is, which is right here, okay? What I found on your swing was that this wrist never really rotated, okay? What you did was you got it to, the, you got it to about here on top of your back swing, and then you would uh, sort of try to rotate it back and your club would go too far back. Remember the last two inches we talked about? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this little um, field drill together, okay? And I'm going to do it off my swing. Now notice, I want you to notice the, uh, the weight of the club head, okay? If my arms are hanging down nice and tension-free and I don't have any tension on my wrist, in other words, I'm not just, I'm not putting a death grip on this uh, golf club, notice how the weight of my club head can actually create my swing arc naturally. It can even, the weight of the club head can even um, rotate and cock my wrist naturally too. Okay, so let's see how that works. Okay, so as I come off the ball, you see how, you see how that happens? Let me, let me go back. I'm going to do it slower. Okay, as I come off the ball, what I want you to see is there's, there's no movement in my wrist or my hands or my arms. I'm keeping that triangle together. Remember the triangle between my shoulders, my arms, my hands, and my wrist? Notice how it happens. So as I come back, come back to here, you see the first 12 inches off the ball. You know, I'm keeping that angle between my forearms and my club shaft. And I go to the top of the backswing. Now what's happening is because my hands are, are so because the grip isn't so strong, now I can feel the weight of the club head. And because I don't have a lot of tension in my arms, I can feel the weight of the club head. In fact, when I get here, I still have the same amount of tension in my arms and my hands than I did at a dress. Okay? I feel where this club head is. And then when I get to the top of my backswing, now, real quick, you see how now my hands are beginning to, I mean my wrists are beginning to rotate? The rotation is coming from the weight of the club head, okay? I have to feel that. If I don't feel that, then that means I'm manipulating the club somehow. That means I'm trying to put the, the club head where I want it or the club where I want it, and that, that's death in golf, okay? Because, see, this technology with the offset and the loft and the perimeter weighting and all that kind of stuff, that's what the club is supposed to do. You don't have to interfere with that. So then when I get to top of my backswing, which is about here, okay, my wrist is pretty much flat, okay, it's not bowed, it's pretty flat, okay, and now I just drop the whole unit. See, now, see, I'm dropping the whole unit. See, I'm not, my wrist hasn't moved. Once it rotated to the top, once it rotated around and went to flat, okay, on a wrist cop, now I'm just dropping the unit. So there's almost no inflection at all in your golf swing. Okay, believe it or not. Now, let me back up. Where you can go after it is right about here. See, this is the slot. Now, once I get to the slot, now I can start moving this club as fast as I want it because everything else is in place. Okay, now, due to camera angle, you know, it doesn't look like my head's behind the ball, but if, if this camera angle is face on, my, my head would be well behind the ball, okay? is now I can now go after it, which I am, you know, through the ball, okay? So I just thought this would help as far as a drill, okay? You have to feel the weight of the club head. Let the weight of that club head dictate how your wrist naturally cock, okay? How your arms naturally flow out, how the arc naturally works, okay? So I'm going to put this in a video. I'm going to uh, send it to you. Um probably put it back on your golf pod and send you the link but uh, tell me what you think and you can practice this in your room you know in your bedroom basement garage you know just to get the feel that the again the weight of the club head is what's propelling your swing arc and it's cocking your wrist naturally so you don't have to feel like you're manipulating anything okay tell me what you think and uh, I'll talk to you soon okay all right bye